viewers so today i am going to tell you how to issue an audit observation over oios application or website so here it is uh, first you have to log in into your account so after login into your account over oios application uh, you will see uh, you have to visit your uh, current inspection uh, program like uh, i do have this inspection program going on so i have to i'm going to click on this after clicking that you, the new assignment will open up uh, so you can see on the right side lots of uh, options are there and over there you have to just uh, click on audit observations like no audit observations has been issued till now so we're going to um, issue a new audit observation over here so you have to click over here add new audit observation after clicking it uh, it will pop up with a new uh, uh, new tab so here you can see like uh, there is an subject there is a subject box and there is a description box so slightly every time uh, every few days there is some uh, upgradation uh, happen over the websites so so here uh, what we will do that uh, I have already typed out the my audit observations uh, in somewhere else so I will going to copy from there and paste it here so this is my observations so I'm going to copy the uh, subject and paste it paste it here all right and then for this description you have to click over here the pen option it will so edit you have to single click on that then it will open a new tab in which uh, the word file will be open it so you can see there is a word file so you can simply paste it here or you can write anything here like uh, your observations details so I'm going to just copy from here and paste it here you can do the copy and paste thing you can adjust everything as per your requirements and you don't need to do anything whatever you are just inputting here it's like an online thing so it will automatically update over there like I'll show you so I'll put the refresh then you can see that it will appear after some times uh, actually the net is not very good over here so what you can see that I have input all the stuff over here and then I will try to close it and you can see uh, after a few seconds or maybe in like 15 or 20 seconds it will update the entire details from there to here so you can see your audio observations here still you want to edit it then again you have to go over there and then click on the edit option and then you need to click change anything over here you need to change it here it will automatically change there simply after completing your uh, desired changes and everything then you need to just close down this alright and this will appear like this but you can't able to edit over here so this is the thing so. and after that I will select materiality so I'll select materiality low if you want to uh, put something uh, th that's a very important observation so you want to put it in your part 2a para then you have to select uh, select materiality high materiality high means part 2a para Mater materiality medium or low means it's a uh, part 2b para so so it's up to you whether you like or not you have to select if uh, some financial uh, impact is there then you can put the amount otherwise you can leave it as zero all right uh, mine carrying some amount so you can opt values if something is not over here then you can opt as other option also so I'll carry the uh, this is optional uh, you can opt it or not it's up to you uh, you can give the two days uh, like a two days um, extension for the reply for, from the audit team all right so right now I'm just uh, not opting that option so this is the second one you, you just need to click on continue then after that there is a key document so that there is two way to upload key documents one way is uh, to if you have already scanned the document over your 
over your OIOS application app so from there like I did so I will access that document and upload that document from there to here so all you need to do is to click on attach from your library so it will open up your uh, iOS application app I have already uploaded that particular document over my OIOS app so basically that's a drive that, like we used to, to do in the Google uh, form like we have Google Drive exactly in the same manner we have OIOS drive so you can see this is a concession certificate I have already uploaded over my phone application so I have also uh, already uh, make one more video how how you uh, like uh, how you download and use OIOS application over your phone for uh, like scanning any documents all right so I have selected only one document over here so after selecting it, it will show it here okay if you have some document which is in your on your computer on your uh, pen drive then you have to click over there after clicking that it will open up your PC or your pen drive location from their location you can uh, upload any document from there to here alright so you need to hit the, hit the, the continue button then again you need to hit the continue button and review all the parts uh, if you still want to change you can change uh, yeah. if you want to change anything you have to go to the basic details and change all right so right now I'm going to click on continue then this is the final bit so here is the catch that if you want to approve if you want to uh, approve and issue by yourself you have to click on issue all right so it will not show up anything then it will directly ask you to dispatch or dispatch this pattern if you want to send for approval or send for review like uh, if I'm going to send for review to my higher higher uh, like authority then I can simply uh, write a name any W's, B's, any you can type, uh, type it here it will directly show your teammates name so from there you just click on finish after finishing it it will directly go to that person and he will uh, approve and if he want to change anything he will change otherwise he will approve and send back to you or else for the dispatch else he will dispatch by himself so right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to issue this para alright so I'm going to issue that para I have just clicked it now you can see uh, this para has been issued but still it's asking that we need to dispatch it you have to click over here in case somehow you forget to dispatch any of your um, paras then this dispatch work will be show over here you can see that if somehow you miss anything that work will be shown over here so you will not be able to miss anything all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dispatch I have to click on the dispatch uh, that blue icon that blue number is a dispatch then I have to click on open after opening it it's asking few details which is not very important at the initial stage so here is the thing that uh, if you want to give the this uh, para uh, PM to your uh, auditing team in the hard copy or soft copy so I believe that you always select in person so that you will there is there will be no such difference but the thing is that uh, when you used to take uh, an option of email then the email sometimes happen to be uh, like received within a minute or sometimes it happened to be uh, received within two or three days so it's better that you can uh, save your time and you can opt in person and uh, like mine is uh, CS chief supervisor BPQ so this is the person like SM senior DCM like that you have to put it here and in case you opt here the email ID like email then you need to put here the email ID without inputting the email ID it will not get dispatch alright so make sure when you select here email then you need to input email ID if you don't select email and if you select in person then there is no need to uh, input email ID although you can uh, put the email ID so it doesn't change and you have to click on the you have to click on the continue button after clicking it uh, you can see uh, lots of uh, things will be coming 
so finally is asking for you want to dispatch or want to save for later sometimes we happen that we want to dispatch letter or, or, or on different date or still if you want to uh, send for approval so here is the same process same for approval you have to just put here name anything like that all right so right now i'm not going to uh, send this paras to get approved so i'm going to like uh, approve and dispatch by myself all right and i'm going to click over here you don't need to check any of this box all right so this is successfully dispatched then i'm checking my work here you can see there is no work left to be done by me and there was no para but it will show one para over here so wait yeah you showing one para over here one attachment i have attached the amount the status is issued sometimes uh, it is um, uh, when we send for approval is showing that under approval when we didn't dispatch then it will show dispatch when we issue and dispatch both then it will show as this issued so this is the way all right so in my next video i will let you know the other things regarding the oios application how to use and how to uh, like uh, resolve your problems with that and if you have any 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 queries please do ask me and put a comment or put a message in this videos and, and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much auditors thank you